The Birth of Hurricane Katrina Anyone remember Tropical Depression 10 from 2005? Probably not, but you surely remember the events that followed it in which that depression played an initial role. A tropical wave left Western Africa on August 8, 2005. It led to the formation of Tropical Depression 10 five days later. Strong wind shear tore that depression apart the next day on August 14th. For clarification, a tropical depression is an organized system of clouds and thunderstorms with a defined closed surface circulation and maximum sustained winds of less than 34 knots or 39 miles per hour. It has no eye and does not typically have the organization or the spiral shape of more powerful storms. However, it is already a low pressure system, hence the name depression. Moving on, a circulation in the middle levels of the atmosphere that was part of that depression met up with another tropical wave that had left Africa on August 11th. That interaction resulted in Tropical Depression 12 forming near the Bahamas, later becoming the infamous Hurricane Katrina that struck southern Florida, then the northern Gulf Coast. A tropical wave leads to a depression, and that falls apart. Then, its midsection merges with another tropical wave, and that combination leads to another tropical depression, which evolved into Katrina. Hurricane Katrina, an extremely destructive Category 5 hurricane, began on August 23, 2005, when it originated as Tropical Depression 12 near the Bahamas. The next day, the Tropical Depression strengthened to a tropical storm and was named Katrina. The hurricane then proceeded to make landfall on the southern tip of Florida, which can be seen in this video. The following are quotes given by the National Hurricane Center. Tuesday, August 23rd, 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Data from an Air Force Reserve Unit Reconnaissance Aircraft, along with observations from the Bahamas and nearby ships, indicate the broad low pressure area over the southeastern Bahamas has become organized enough to be classified as Tropical Depression 12. Wednesday, August 24th. 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Satellite imagery, Doppler radar data from the Bahamas and Miami, and reconnaissance wind data indicate Tropical Depression 12 has become much better organized this morning and has strengthened into Tropical Storm Katrina. Thursday, August 25th. 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The National Hurricane Center upgrades Tropical Storm Katrina to Hurricane Katrina. 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Katrina makes landfall in Florida. This final video is simply to show the strength of Hurricane Katrina throughout its path and from its birth. The darker the color appears in the hurricane, the stronger it is. This has been a presentation on the birth of Hurricane Katrina. Thank you for your attention.